Inflammation is how the body heals itself. So when you see all these people, yeah, you got to decrease inflammation. You got to decrease inflammation. No, inflammation is a clue that there's damage to the tissue. Decreasing inflammation doesn't make any sense at all. Okay, yeah, you got brain inflammation, you got encephalitis, okay, encephalopathy, you know, and, and it just kind of occurred at 18 months after the shots. Okay, you don't have inflammation, you got damage to the brain, and the body's inflaming it to, 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 because histamines are released, because cells are literally damaged, and your body's got to increase blood flow to heal the tissue. So the brain inflammation is from brain damage. So what environmental toxin could have crossed that blood-brain barrier? I know it's not formed until they're about teenagers, okay, but you know, you, we got to work with people slow. Okay, what kind of neurotoxin crossed that blood-brain barrier that damaged their, their brain? So cortisol, is it high cortisol? Is it adrenal fatigue? Or is it a chronic sympathetic dominant state? Adrenals don't wear out. There's no such thing as adrenal fatigue. There is such a thing as a chronic sympathetic dominant state, it's totally lowering thyroid function because you got this balance. You got the thyroid that works and the adrenals that work. Only one's gonna be up and down. So if you have somebody with a low functioning thyroid, what do they got? They got adrenal stress. Then adrenal stress isn't, don't blame the organ, okay? The adrenal glands are gonna be firing off like crazy under physical, chemical, and emotional stress. If you're treating the adrenal fatigue or the adrenal stress without looking at the underlying stressor, that doesn't make any sense at all. Yeah, I got a splinter in my arm. It hurts, okay, give me a steroid, a pain reliever, and everything else. And Sarah's saying, no, pull the splinter out. No, dear, it's just the symptom. Do, do you understand? So don't treat the adrenal fatigue. How many people are walking around with a low-functioning thyroid and when they got systemic inflammatory response? 